The humble glockenspiel is a sweet little instrument often thought of as having a character of childlike wonder and innocence. But today is Halloween, so I'm going to try to make it sound as creepy as possible. I found this particular 25 key glockenspiel on eBay a couple years ago for 29 bucks. At the time, I was working on an actual film score for an actual film, a suspense film. In that score, I bowed the keys of the glockenspiel with a violin bow, which created a glassy, ethereal, but creepy kind of knife sheathing sound. It sounded like this. I also ran that through tape loops to make it sound super creepy and disturbing and unstable. And today I have a YouTube channel in which I show people how I do stuff. So I'm going to try to recreate some of those sounds that I made for that film score, as well as take it a little bit further and see just how creepy we can make this thing with the addition of some effects. The two primary effects I'm using today are ring modulation and spring reverb. Now ring mod is a little hard to explain something about diodes and multiplication. But fortunately, we don't have to know all of the details in order to get some creepy sounds out of it. Ring modulation can range from tremolo sounds at the lower frequencies, all the way up to audio rate manipulation of the original signal at higher frequencies. And these audio rate modulations, I think, simply put, are the sum and difference of both the pitch that I play on the glockenspiel, as well as the modulator frequency coming from the ring mod itself. It'll be weird. The other effect, Spring Reverb was originally designed for electronic organs. And while it does a really bad job of emulating a large pipe organ in a large physical space, it does a great job of creating a unique effect that is really something all its own. If you can see in there, there's an actual spring sitting inside of a reverb tank. The signal of my glockenspiel is gonna travel down this spring and reverberate inside of that tank. And that's how we get the reverb sound. Now if I whack this pedal enough, it's going to cause those springs to clang around inside of the tank, which is going to create some big metally clanging around and a big tunnel sounds. And that will actually create some interesting things for horror scores without even having to run a signal through it. Because the glockenspiel is a bit of a high frequency tinkler, I need something to provide some low end and some drony tension in this cube. And for that, I've used a pedal that has the word drone right in its name. So it's probably pretty good for that. We have basically two oscillators in the Drone Ranger. I can mix back and forth between them. So I'm going to be playing that live as I play some creepy glockenspiel parts over the top. Now the first thing I'm going to do though is record a couple of creepy, weird ring mod, glockenspiel, spring reverb takes to my tape loop. And then I'm going to speed that tape loop down to half speed, which is going to make it an octave lower. And that's going to provide the bed for this entire cue. Switch that over to the tape and listen to what we just recorded. You can hear the wobbliness and instability in the tape? That's great, that's what we want. I'm gonna take that to half speed. I'm just gonna drop it an octave. Pan that right. Got 
Okay, let's listen back to that. And I'm going to pan this one left. And take it half speed. Now I'll bring back in the other recording I made. Now, if I were actually doing this for a score, I would definitely sample everything in so that I could have the flexibility of using my DAW to move things around to match hit points. But for today, I'm just gonna be improvising this live and then I can always go back and chop out things that I find that are interesting later. Ooh, it's Spirit Me from the future. And I decided just to add that I did sprinkle in a little bit of low pulse analog goodness from the Moog Matriarch. So yeah, technically it's not all glockenspiel.
Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it gave you some ideas if you're working on a horror score or you just want to make creepy sounds for yourself because you're some kind of weirdo. If you did enjoy it, you can give it a like. That'll help me out tremendously with the algorithm, which is truly the scariest thing that I know of. And you can hit subscribe if you want to continue seeing more videos like this about synthesizers and sound and tape loops and ring modulators. I also have in the description a link to a free synthesis workshop. That is 20 minutes of me just taking you through the basics of subtractive synthesis. If you wanna dig in and get outside of the algorithms and learn with me there, it is absolutely free. So with all that being said, thanks a lot for sticking around. What's going on? What's happening? Oh my God! <laughs> this channel is ridiculous.